Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to make a shelf within a drawer. Now this is a version of an old film that I produced, but I'll tell you more in a minute. So the idea behind uh, making a shelf for a drawer is basically in the Sprite Major 4 SB there's only a very small shelf. Now Juliet uses a CPAP machine when she goes to sleep at night so it didn't fit on the shelf so what I decided to do was make a, 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 a shelf within the drawer so that she could put a machine on it and uh, we'd all get a good night's sleep. And it's worked quite well since the van uh, was purchased. We've used it every time we've gone away and it's, it works really well. I mean, if you don't have one of them type of machines, you can use it for a brew and stick a book on it as well if you're that way inclined. So uh, let's see what we need to make this. So first things first, we're going to need some Conti board. I think this was approximately 30 centimetres wide and it was a length of about it was about a metre long. You're also going to need four 10 millimetre Phillips screws that can be countersunk. You'll also need some iron-on Conti board edging tape. So the tools we're going to need are a pencil, a tape measure and a screwdriver. We're also going to need a sharp knife like a craft knife and a pair of scissors and you're also going to need a battery drill and the last thing you're going to need is a steam iron but it will be set to a non-steam setting now to get the actual measurements you need to measure the outer width of the drawer including the actual drawer front and then the inner section of the drawer on both sides. So taking those measurements you need to cut your Conti board. This left hand piece is the inner of the drawer and the right hand is the outer part of the drawer. I've also marked with a pencil four holes that I'm going to drill to secure the left hand plate to the right hand plate of timber. Now once you're happy with your timber cuts, you need to iron on the edging. I used a piece of brown paper just to stop the edging melting. And don't forget you don't need a steam setting, just the highest temperature you can get without steam. I then took my uh, craft knife and I trimmed off the excess of the uh, Conti board edging. Having drilled the holes with my battery drill, I then screwed the bottom plate to the top plate, uh, securing it. Uh, you don't need to use uh, screws, you can use normal nails if you want. Now as we were using it for Juliet's CPAP machine, I just put a little bit of anti-slip matting on it. If you're not going to use it for that, you don't particularly need that. Uh, it's just uh, to stop her machine moving. I then decided to add two metal tangs on either edge of uh, the draw shelf itself so that it would make contact with the magnetic catches on the draw in the caravan. So here is the draw in all its glory in our caravan. Now we've been using it for the past two seasons and it's really served a useful purpose for us. You may find a purpose for it yourself but uh, it cost us approximately £8 to make this. The dearest thing was the Conti board. But uh, it's worth having a go if you uh, need something like this, uh, either for books or, like I said, on medical aids. Well, everyone, that's how I made a handy little shelf with inside one of our drawers. It was basically, i come up with the idea out of need and necessity for Juliet's machine. But there's many uses you can use it for. So if you want to have a go, please do. If you've got any more questions about how I made it, please drop me a comment. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. But in the meantime, bye for now.